Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we're making Twisted Heart Gnomes. Ooh, look at that cool tower, and it comes to a heart. This is actually a pretty simple, it's no sew project, and of course we have some clay, uh, cups, a little guy, and his girl, boop, and you gotta give him a boop. If you'd like to make it, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. And we're gonna start out with some knee socks, some toddler socks, we have clay noses and hands, we have this homespun yarn, felt, and faux fur. We're also going to add a little bit of floral wire into these. So we're gonna fill this one with rice, um, and you can use whatever. I use poly pellets and rice, but whatever you're using, we wanna make these a little heavier than normal. We want their bodies to be nice and firm and heavy so that they can hold this hat. And then what we're gonna do is, you can put about a cup or just under a cup of, the, of rice in there and then add a little polyfill to bring it up and to soften the whole thing. And we're just gonna squish it around, roll it in our fingers and tie it off with a piece of twine. You're gonna repeat that for the other gnome. And again, we're just gonna add the rice, add the poly, and then add the twine. Okay, so now the way you're gonna cut these is very long and skinny. So what we wanna do is we want to cut it in a triangle and we want it to be cutting off the heel. We're gonna use all of these socks, okay? So just watch here, you don't need a pattern, we're just gonna cut it all the way up. And what we're gonna do is, you see we're coming to a bit of a point here. We're gonna turn them inside out and then secure them with glue. So you can see at the bottom there, they're not cut all the way down. So we're just gonna start where the cut is and we're just gonna add a little hot glue and then fold it over. There we go. I, I'm, I'm kind of a mess with hot glue sometimes. Sometimes I'm spot on, sometimes it's tragedy. So um, we're just gonna use the hot glue all the way up. Now you can sew these, nothing's stopping you from adding a little, uh, a little sewing machine action in here, but we do try and make things easy around ruffles and rain boots, especially holiday crafts. I just think they should be super easy because if they're too much involved, I just don't wanna do them. And then my house stays in fall, like the entire year. Okay, so now that you've uh, done your socks and then turned them inside out, what we're gonna do is we're going to add our floral wire. You can bend the tip with your scissors so it doesn't poke through. And then we're gonna start stuffing the polyfill. So you can use you know, your, your blunt scissors, you can use a pencil, a paintbrush is what I'm using. But what we're doing is we're adding polyfill and then we're gonna roll it in our hands. You see how I'm rolling it? And what's that? it's gonna help distribute our polyfill because it's not a lot of polyfill we're using, it's just very narrow. So you have to make sure you're not putting a whole lot at the top and nothing at the bottom. So you can see I'm doing this repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. I'm stuffing up some polyfill, rolling it, stuffing up some polyfill, rolling it. All right, now that you have both of them, we're gonna tuck the bodies into the hats to make sure we like everything. Now for the form, all you're doing is wrapping, I just use a scrap piece of um, cardboard here. You're just gonna make a form out of the cardboard, wrap it for out however thick you want. I'm using a home spun yarn. It's really cool when it gets brushed out. And I'm just securing the top of it. And then we're gonna cut the bottom and just break it all into individual strands um, as opposed to the loops. Okay, so now we're just brushing the beard and you can use a comb, a dog brush, a cat brush, anything you have. And you see how it's kind of separating there, but it, it still has all these really cool strands and strings, just gives it a lot of dimension. All right, so next up is trimming the beard. You're just setting it next to your gnome and seeing how long you would like it. And then you're just sort of V'ing off the bottom. If you like that look, I do. So we're just gonna add a little hot glue a lot of hot glue and we're just going to put that on to the gnome directly and pull down his little hat see super easy super duper easy actually and don't worry you can see the hat kind of looks a little bulbous there we're going to fix that don't worry we're going to add our nose on for our fella and i like the look where you tuck it up under the hat a little bit you don't have to do that but i just think it's super adorable so once our gnome <clears throat> excuse me once our gnome nose is on we add a little hot glue to the very top and make sure to squish down that uh, sock so that when we start pulling and tugging this hat everywhere, it stays still. All right, so we're gonna glue down the back of the hat. So now we have the front tacked and the back is going to be tacked. And that's it, because I'm gonna make some arms to hold cups. If you don't want to, skip that step. Now for the girl, you're just gonna do the same thing, but a 
little thinner, we're gonna do two times of our same process for our beard. We're gonna wrap it around, tie it off, cut the bottoms, and then brush it out. Brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it out. And then we're going to use a clip. If you have a clipboard, which I still can't find mine, it's been like a year, I should probably just buy a new one. Um, but if you want, put a clip down onto the table with one of your sets in it, add a little masking tape and braid. That's it. And if you want to make a really narrow braid at the bottom, you can start shaving off and cutting off little pieces uh, of your yarn on the way down. Um, but I just tied it off with a little bit of ribbon that matches my soon to be apron and hat. And then I do the same thing at the top. I just, um, the top is a little less important so you don't have to make it look pretty because it's gonna be tucked up under a hat. And we're just going to repeat the process for the braids. And I'm just measuring them to make sure they're they're pretty similar in style. And then we're just gonna glue it on. So my little gal's braids, I wanted them hanging down onto the table when she's standing up. So I'm just gonna tack a bit of hot glue here and here. Now, I do tack the braids all the way down just because I have dog, kid, and let's just face it, I like to play with these guys. So I like to tack the braids all the way down. <laughs> just. That's me, you don't have to. And we're gonna follow the same step of making the nose, um, putting it on and tacking down the back of the hat and the front of the hat. And now we're using a piece of that sock that we have left over. I told you we're gonna use all of this thing. And I'm just measuring by eyeball how wide I want my little apron to be. See, it's just kind of a little rectangle of fabric. It's not fancy. And now we're gonna do Sarah's hat glue hemming. I'm so very good at nowadays. Um, again, you can put this onto a sewing machine. The idea still stands. No matter how big your gnomes are or how small your gnomes are, you can follow these exact instructions with felt, with fabric, with socks, whatever you want. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that we've got it on oh, the right size to the body. And now we're going to make the little um, straps. So we're just making teeny tiny little straps and I'm gonna cut off one end to make it look pretty and just measuring the length here. And then we're gonna do it for the second little piece. Again, these are tiny little scraps. You can see maybe an inch or two. Um, you don't need a lot. But I'm going to put the apron uh, straps over top because I wanted a little bit of um, accoutrement, so to speak, with some embellishments. I got these little teeny tiny roses at the craft store and I've had them forever. And well, now I know what I'm doing with them. So I just put them on there and now it's time to make our mugs. You can skip this, you can buy these off Etsy, um, but you're just rolling a log. We used white glitter clay. You can use whatever color you want. We made a marshmallow shape, about an inch-ish big. And then we copied that same design and rolled out another uh, snake, a pretty thick snake, but inside the size of our mug. So that'll be our red hot cocoa calls this Valentine's Day. What else would one drink? Um, okay, so now we're going to roll two different snakes. The first is going to be a snake that we squish down like this because it's going to be our brim of our cup. So we're just making sure it's even-ish, squishing it down, and then we're just gonna put it onto our cup, cut it off there, and now you're gonna roll it just to make sure it adheres everywhere. And then we're gonna just make sure that indentation is shown again. And then it's time for another snake, but a little thicker and he's our handle. So you're gonna to wanna to use your fingers or a knife or paintbrush or whatever to really make sure that polymer clay gets stuck down there. And then you're gonna bake them. Bakety bake bakes. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes or so. If you have a craft uh, toaster oven, which is what I have, it works perfectly. All right, and now if you don't have to make this step, if you're not making you know anything to hold, if you don't like gnomes with arms, again, this is your creation. But I'm using the scraps that we cut off from the socks for the hats. I'm using those to make arms. So we're just gonna cut them in half. And again, this it doesn't matter what they look like. You can use the felt too. See that big piece of felt over there? Whole lot of that left. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to make our hems and we're folding the outsides into the center so that all of the hem is taken care of. And then, um, so you can see I'm folding it in on itself. I'll show you a little bit closer. And it's, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're gonna make these as small or large as you want, as small or large to hold whatever you want. But we're just making sure right here, we're test fitting them to make sure that the are big enough with the little hands to hold whatever it is we're making. And then we're gonna affix our hat and hands down. And on the other side, 
Watch that you don't get the beard in there. Okay, so I use little clay, polymer clay hands, but you can make felt mittens, you can use wooden beads, whatever strikes your fancy. And I'm just gonna attach those hands. And you can see I had to squish off a little hot glue, so I'm gonna put a little more down on the bottom, and he's done. And now we're gonna do the same thing with our little girl. Ticky tacking that hat down, making sure our hands are on and that they come together in the center. Now, while your polymer clay is baking and cooling, because it has to cool too, we're gonna twist these hats. There is no rhyme or reason to this, you're just gonna twist them. And we are gonna secure it in a minute, but what we wanna do is you're gonna wanna keep sh standing these guys and gals up so that their bodies are flat on the table and you still get the twist because we need them to be the same height for our heart to come together to be so pretty and you can see I'm kind of squishing and rolling those hats in my hands um, so that it all works out so we fix uh, the hat together in the twist and then we just form the heart at the top with a little dab of hot glue and kiss the two pieces together isn't that cute all right, so again, all, you can see the white here. We're gonna kind of fluff everything around when we stand these guy, guys and gals up for the last time. But here we are. We're just going to attach our polymer clay however you want. I chose for him to be holding the handle and the other side of the mug, just right there in front of him. And then I, I turned the other mug so it went the other way because symmetry is kind of fun and affixed hers as well. And then when you stand them up, they look like this and they're super cute. <laughs> So let me know what you think of this craft. Let me know in the comments if you think these are fun, adorable, or if it gives you an idea, boop, for something else. As always, please like this video. It helps us so much. And subscribe to Ruffles and Rainbows for crafty fun.